My name is Corey Wise. 35 years ago, my friends and I were in prison for a crime we did not commit. Our youth was stolen from us. Every day, as we walked into court courtroom, people screamed at us, threatened us because of Donald Trump. He spent $85,000 on a full page ad in the, in the New York Times calling for our execution. We, we were innocent kids, but we, but, we all, but we served a total of 41 years in prison. Reverend Al Sharpton stood with us. Now, I'm proud to stand with him today. <laughs> Vice President Kamala Harris has also worked to make things fairer. I know she will do the same as president. Now, prove that message. I love these guys. These are my brothers. These are my brothers. Yes, indeed. America. I am Yusuf Salam. A New York City councilman representing my hometown of Harlem. That's right. Man. Representing my hometown of Harlem, USA. And listen, as my friend Corey Wise just said, 45 wanted us unalive. He wanted us dead. Today, we are exonerated because the actual perpetrator confessed and DNA proved it. That guy says he still stands by the original guilty verdict. He dismisses the scientific evidence rather than admit he was wrong. He has never changed, and he never will. That man thinks that hate is the animating force in America. It is not. We have the constitutional right to vote. In fact, it is a human right. So let us use it. I want you to walk with us. I want you to march with us. I want you to vote with us. And let me tell you, this is going to be so beautiful. And together, on November 5th, we will usher in Kamala Harris and Tim Walls into the White House. So I want to do this. When I say one day, I want you to say, see us. One day. See us. One day. When they see us, America will finally say goodbye to that hateful man. We will say what I have said after seven long years of wrongful incarceration. Free at last. Free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.
Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.